How to Make a Cardboard Kitar Prop The kitar is an instrument which was popular in the 80s. This is a kitar prop that you can use as part of a costume or just for fun. Steps 1. Find a picture of a kitar that you like online, then print it out as it will be your reference. 2. Cut your first cardboard box in half down the seam. You will end up with two halves. Turn one half so it's facing long ways. Using a pencil draw the kitar outline of your choice onto the cardboard. 3. Using sharp scissors or a knife, cut out the body shape. Now trace the kitar shape onto the remaining half of the cardboard and cut that out too. 4. Take the second box and cut it in half, then trace the kitar shape out again on each half and cut. At this point you should have four shapes. 5. Using the hot glue gun. Glue the shapes on top of each other in a stacked order. Now you have a solid kitar body. 6. Squeeze some acrylic paint out onto a plastic plate, get a clean dry sponge and lightly dip it into the paint, with even strokes, paint the front side of the kitar. Let it dry. 7. Grab your craft foam boards, and cut the white one into thick strips. Then cut the black one. Make the black strips a little shorter and thinner. 8. Look at your picture and using the glue gun, stick down the white strips first on the body and overlap them with the black. These are the piano keys. 9. Time to decorate. Grab some buttons and rhinestones and stick them in place with a glue gun. 10. The strap can be made if you want one. Just cut a long piece of ribbon or fabric and glue it to both ends of the kitar. Tips Stick buttons and rhinestones to the kitar neck for a cool effect. Painting the piano keys on looks great too. To paint use a sponge it won't soak the cardboard. Warnings Glue guns can become very hot. Watch your fingers while using scissors and knives. Things Two large cardboard boxes. Hot glue gun. Acrylic paint. Buttons or rhinestones, optional. Craft foam sheets, black and white. Sharp scissors or knife. Sponge.